Bonjour, after a wonderful Bastille day, it is nice for me to be back with you tonight for a taste of Provence. Now, the region is fabulous for food. In Aix-en-Provence, there is a specialty of calisson. It is a, a small sweet, really looking like a biscuit, that is made of almonds and confit melon. Absolutely delicious, I love it. There's also the brandade, which is a dish from the Mediterranean region, which is made of salt cod that is the cooked and then made into a puree with some olive oil and some garlic. People love it as an appetizer. But the great, great speciality of the region is the bouillabaisse. Probably started in Marseille, it was a dish that was made with the leftover fish that the, the fishermen would have got. And at home, they would cook this dish that is very quickly prepared. For our bouillabaisse, I use three fishes. John Dory, Gurner, and flathead. Those fishes are firm and they will stay together during the cooking. But I will also use some prawns. To start the dish, you need a really large pot, a little bit of olive oil, put some cumin seeds and fennel seeds in the oil, warm that a little, add a little bit of chili, but not too much, just a little is enough, and then some chopped onion. Cook that for a few minutes, then add some fennel segments. The fennel is very important to give that flavor from anise that is so famous in the region. Then put some diced tomatoes, top with the pieces of fish, then the fish stock. You can have fish stock, you can have water if you don't have fish stock, or you can have vegetable stock. Then put a little bit of saffron, a little bit of salt and pepper, and bring this to the bowl. Now this needs to boil fairly quickly for about 10 minutes. This is the way a bouillabaisse is made. After 10 minutes, add the prawns and cook for a further five minutes. Once the fish is cooked, remove the fish from the pan onto a dish for serving, add the vegetables around, and it is traditionally served with some boiled potatoes. Almost always would you see boiled potato with a, with a bouillabaisse. Now the liquid is generally served at the end separately, but just before serving, you must put a little bit of chopped garlic and some chopped parsley to it. At home, what the mother does usually, or the father, uh, they separate the flesh from the fish for the children and place that on the plate with the vegetables and then put the broth at the last minute and it is extremely popular. Really a glorious French dish. The bouillabaisse is also served with some crouton and aioli, a garlic mayonnaise. Now, Christian, what do you recommend to drink with uh, bouillabaisse? Well, Gabriel, such a traditional dish is actually quite tricky to match with wine. French uh, usually have a dry white wine. Now, between the town of Avignon and Nîmes, you find a region called Costière de Nîmes that produces white wine made with Grenache Blanc and Viognier, and are fairly aromatic. So you have to keep in mind that bouillabaisse with the tomato and the garlic and the fennel, you need wine that has quite a lot of depth of flavor to match those ingredients, but a wine that is elegant and delicate enough to match the texture of the fish, and certainly also good acid to get through the, uh, the, uh, the degree of richness. Thank you, Christian. Tomorrow, Sébastien, our chef pâtissier, will cook a gâteau au marron, a chestnut cake. Until then, au revoir. <laughs>